What is happening, everybody? Welcome back for some more Shattered Space, the Starfield DLC. So we are picking up exactly where we left off. Uh, we need to go talk to Ekerith. Um, We just finished that uh, quest. Um, side quest, the little uh, dual side quest, I'm trying to say. So now we're back on the main ah, yes. quest. Hello. Well, look who it is. You have made quite a stir, and given the state of things, that is a singular accomplishment. To what do I owe the honor, Armager? Uh, let's see, Malabor says, work with work on the morning device. Oh, okay, must proceed. High Council told me to help your project. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, let's go with that. Did he now? Hmm. How? magnanimous but approval is approval and i will gladly take it i will spare you much of the technical detail as i confess that pieces of it i barely understand myself one cannot help but notice the energy field around the scaled citadel until we can get through it we cannot shut down the experiment inside and it has proved quite impossible to get through we had the beginnings of a plan to build a makeshift contraption to redirect grav drive energy to see if we could penetrate the barrier, but the project came to a halt. Politics got in the way. Every one of the houses needs to contribute, and every one realized they could potentially use it for leverage. What should have been a cooperative effort turned contentious. Easy decisions became... Negotiations. And so, construction never began. We have sat here, staring at this disaster as supplies pile up for well over a week now. Serpent help us, it is infuriating. Let's see, no use complaining about the past. Time to move forward. I've been here for 10 minutes and the council is already annoying. Uh, you should be grateful that I'm here. And that you can continue your work. Why do you need the council's approval? Uh, yeah, there you go. Indeed. All must serve. I believe I've done enough complaining for now. Time to get to work. If you're here, the council has likely sent word to the houses that it's time to stop the infighting. <laughs> I doubt it will be enough. I need to oversee construction here. Make sure things are built to specifications. If you could follow up with the houses, that may speed up the process. All right, I'll get right on it. I appreciate that someone around here is eager to get to work. House Fetal owes us access codes for the city power grid. It's the only way to guarantee enough power to activate the device. House Kadik was supposed to provide a young scientist named Sahima to help me. She had at least some experience with the original Citadel experiment. No idea why they refused to send her. And Hasmek, the new elder of House Dulkef, he has been distant, guarded. He claims to have vital information about an important component of the experiment, but has withheld it until now. Help me get what we need, and we will see what we can do for the Speaker. And for House Varun. And I may have something that can help you in whatever trials the serpent puts before you as we navigate this we have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks but i have still spent some time doing my own research when i can these phantoms the vortex fascinating subject really if only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this okay that was a big bit hectic there was a whole bunch of stuff popped up on my screen um i know i know i have lost friends and colleagues myself we have encountered several interesting phenomena first while the phantoms shift to a fully human form when killed they often retain small shards that appear to be an almost crystallized version of vortex energy Second, we have learned that killing the Phantoms sometimes causes an even greater disturbance. 
horrors, as they have been colloquially termed, can appear from somewhere. We are unsure of their origin, but it is not within our universe. These horrors and their spawn are infested with cysts, a seemingly organic manifestation of vortex energy. We have managed to collect enough to run experiments and have devised a method of combining them into an explosive mixture with varying properties. While they have no use in the development of the morning device, if you find yourself out in the field, I believe they could have more practical applications. Hmm. Anything that the can give me an edge. The simple enough that any industrial workstation should suffice, if you have the materials. And, depending on how you combine said materials, you may find the results to be somewhat variable. I hope you can use that to your advantage. Okay, I can now craft grenades with vortex shards, alright? Yes, depending on how much trouble you're getting into. We have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks, but I have still spent some time doing my own research when I can. These phantoms, the vortex. Fascinating subject, really. Yeah, if only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this. All right. Oh, we got a level. I think I needed to get to rank number four for me to get to the other. Well, it's giving me the skill point, but I can't seem to use it. Ah, okay. I have to do the challenges. don't know what I want to use these points for. Where to? Sup and keep you. You can't be serious granting them an audience. This is exactly the impression we don't want to give. Please, Jamal. Don't you see how all this works in our favor? It's not up for discussion. You. I won't risk what we've worked so hard to achieve. It's done. So, Acherus has sent our newest armager to inquire about Sahima. Don't worry. Jamal's already told me all about you. I'm Razma, elder of House Kadik 
and head of the Ministry of Conjunction. Well, it's also an honor to meet one as interesting as yourself. I wouldn't have suspected an outsider to be made promised. But who am I to argue with the Great Serpent's choice? Um... I understand, and I can't argue the importance. I know the Council is looking to Sahima for answers, but the truth is, she's been taken, along with other members of the House. They're being held hostage by zealots, and now they're demanding negotiations. Hmm. What happened to Dazra was a cataclysmic event. The city may seem in order now, but those first few days, it was chaos. And the zealots took advantage. Okay, so tell me what they've demanded so the far. zealots have yet to name specifics. At best, they'll demand an inordinate amount of credits or firearms. Worst case, a seat at the High Council or even the reinstatement of their house. House Malene, they know we can't risk Sahima for Dazra's sake. So, they won't hold back when it comes to demands. If I can get to the hostages first, the zealots have no leverage. Aha. Uh -huh. My thoughts exactly. Normally I'd have agents doing everything possible to find them. But we too suffered losses. We need to be here. Present. I couldn't risk more lives. It's the only reason I even agreed to these negotiations. But now that you're here... I can finally take action. Mm. And Go that's that. where the issue lies. You don't know where they I are. I don't know where the zealots are keeping Sahima, but I have a good idea who does. Their name is Merrick. Merrick is a Kadik, and they also work for me as an agent in the Ministry of Conjunction. This is where matters get complicated. I suppose this looks very black and white to you. If only that were the case. As I said, Merrick works for me in the Ministry of Conjunction. They've been establishing an inside relationship with the Zealots for some time now. On my orders. Forcing them to give up the information could jeopardize all they've worked for. So don't expect them to be forthcoming. Get the information any way you see fit. As long as no physical harm comes to them. All right. Merrick is proud of what they've accomplished, so I doubt they'll give up information easily. If being persuasive isn't your strong suit, perhaps appealing to their substantial ego may help. If you can stomach it. Just don't be direct. I'm sure it would put them on the defensive. Either that or... Make them completely unwilling to talk. Uh... Okay. See that you do. You'll find Merrick upstairs in the meditation room. All right, let me check my inventory real quick because we did have a whole bunch of stuff pop off. Uh, was it a weapon that I got? Hmm. 
Interesting. That's a poison blade. I think that's the most damage that I have as far as a physical weapon. You're no member of House Kadik. What are you doing here? Uh, let's see. I may not be of House Kadik, but I'm the only one that's here communicating with uh, Anasko Varun. Whatever I want, I need to know where the zealots are holding. Let's go with this. Oh, so you're the heretic turned armager who thinks they're one of us now. So tell me. What would a chosen one such as yourself want with someone like me? I'm sorry. Did you say zealots? Why would I know anything about such extremists? Absolutely ridiculous. Did she now? I guess this means the High Council is still asking Auntie Razma where Sahima is. And if you're here making demands, she obviously has decided to make use of you rather than undergo sincere negotiations. I see what's going on here. Uh, then you know how important it is to reveal the location of the Zella base. Very perceptive. Ah, uh, yeah, let's stroke his ego. Well, I am one of the few to garner any amount of trust with the Zealots, so she should be. I can't imagine where the Ministry of Conjunction would be without me. It's impressive to be trusted by over your senior members. I do have a natural talent. It's nice to see I'm being properly recognized. I may excel in my skills, but it doesn't mean the hours I put in are any less. Yeah, let's exactly. keep stroking his ego. There's still research, analysis, documentation. It, too much documentation, if you ask me. But altogether, I have the exact talents needed to do this job, which is why I was entrusted with the Zealots in the first place. I admit it hasn't always been easy. They are zealots, you know. I can't imagine how hard it must have been to earn the zealots trust. It takes a lot to deal with the levels of stress you must be experiencing. The work, the strategies, that's all child's play for me. But being with the Zealots is a different story. Of course, it's gotten easier as I've gotten to know them. But it's a mental challenge whenever a new face is introduced. It takes a lot to do. Hmm. You have no idea. I can't even tell you how much time and effort it's been to sway the zealots my way. Not to mention the stress over my own personal well-being. I may be the best at what I do, but I'm not stupid. The zealots do have the element of unpredictability. You say they're unpredictable, so you know the danger Samia and the hostages are in. Uh, 
I was wondering when your own agenda would come into play. I've worked hard to obtain my position with the Zealots. And like I've told Rosma a thousand times, I have no reason to believe they're going to hurt my dear cousins, especially Sahima. So, as far as I'm concerned, that information stays with me. As much as I'd like to help you, I don't think so. Hmm. Hmm. When you put it that way. Let's see. You could really consider the danger here. I'm aware uh, of the risks. Nice. Yes, it's something I have considered. All right, I'll let you in on their location. But remember, you're the only one that knows. If word spreads, I'll know exactly who's to blame. The location you're looking for is Shadow Station Epsilon. It's an old Varun base that they've taken over for themselves. Rosma will know it. Let her tell you the details, seeing as how I'm about to be reassigned. It better. Okay. We clutched up on the persuasion. Got that done. You must have gotten the location. <laughs> I figured they wouldn't be completely forthcoming. If my intel is correct, you can find Shadow Station Epsilon in the Badlands, north of Dazra. I can send you the coordinates. Shadow Station Epsilon is one of many zealot bases scattered throughout. As I mentioned before, I wasn't willing to risk agent lives in order to scout them all. All right. Anything else you could tell me about the station before Epsilon I run was once head in? a research station with a focus on grav drive manipulation. The zealots have since vastly expanded upon it. But it makes sense if they intend to use Sahima to their advantage. The sooner the better. Now that we have a rescue mission underway, I'll speak to Merrick about setting up the negotiations. I expect them to be pliable after their last encounter with you. The current plan is to hold them at one of the geothermal power stations. Meet us there when Sahima and the others are safe. Good. Serpent willing. Your timing will line up. I'll stall the zealots as long as I can, which shouldn't be an issue. That being said, I'd still appreciate it if you could act quickly. Now, Jamal wants an update before you leave. Just don't let her distract you for too long. All right. Armager, a word before you go. Tell me, Armager, what do you know about the zealots? as it is. At least you're not risking your life out there in the settled systems. They may risk their lives. To... An oversimplified observation, but correct nonetheless. The zealots are widely frowned upon within our society. They are a remnant of the Serpent's Crusade, days we'd like to forget. Has my dear sister given you any history on our house's relations with the zealots? I'm surprised she even mentioned that much. 
Razma would have everyone believe she only wishes to keep an eye on the Zealots, so the Council can make informed decisions. The truth is, she's had this particular group of Zealots under her thumb for quite some time. This is only a problem now because she's lost control. That is the real reason why Razma hasn't informed the High Council, and I'm sworn to silence. Okay. Does it? I'd be curious to know what you've discussed. House Kadik already has a reputation for being sympathetic to the Zealots, but the truth is far worse. Razma wants the Zealots to back House Kadik, so the balance of power between the noble houses would shift to us. She's been employing them, paying them in supplies that aid their blind crusade. I find it hard to believe that the High Council isn't aware of this. Uh... The Council knows nothing of her work with the Zealots, and I aim to keep it that way. All elders have their own ambitions. I'm certain that's all they see. What none of us expected was the disaster that is the scaled citadel. The aftermath is what allowed the Zealots to grab Sahima and the others, flipping the balance of power in their favor. Razma has lost control and is putting House Kadik's reputation and power at risk. Cool. And that's what I wish to speak to you about. House Kadik shouldn't be associating with Zealots at all, except on an extermination level. But worse, we absolutely cannot be supplying them with ordinance of any kind. We need to cut ties with the Zealots altogether. <sighs> and you expect me to do something about it? How astute. I want you to put an end to any connections between House Kadik and the Zealots. And while my position won't allow me to be blunt, I'll still make it clear. Should the hostages not survive, Rasma would blame the Zealots and cut all ties. What we need is Sahima's research, which she has with her. You just need to bring it back. Mm. So I can either kill innocent hostages or just kill the terrorist. I wonder if I can take the 10,000 credits and then still not kill her and just screw this chick over. Yeah. I knew you'd be reasonable, Armager. You'll receive payment when your work is complete. Ah, damn. As you may have guessed, we can't afford any loose ends and you'll need a cover story for Rasma. When you arrived, the Zealots had already killed the hostages. So you exacted revenge in House Kadik's name. You'd fit well in the Ministry of Conjunction. That is, if you succeed. I look forward to seeing you at the negotiations. How's your day been? Hopefully better than mine. What? I wouldn't... Let's see.
Okay, so we are here. Hopefully I got good uh, good placement. Had to run all the way over here. But I think I'm in a good spot. Who saw me? How the hell did they see me? Get out of here. All right. Dude's just busting shots. Okay, good. Got the shot. Come on. Is that a turret? There it is. All right, cool. Cleared house. Make sure I check everywhere. Seems like I gotta get down. 
Are there any stairs or I just gotta jump down there? Did it open? Okay, it didn't open. Mono. I gotta switch this one to full auto when I get a chance. I gotta lock pick it. Okay, I'll come back for that. Oh, damn. the door that's locked. Get a shot off on him.
They keep hitting me with some sort of toxin. One more. Where are the rest of them at? Oh, damn. Oh, shit. stuff I can come back here for. I'm not going to kill her. She's innocent. Who had the key? This guy had the key? Yep. Who... Who are you? Serpent's Grace, I knew it! I knew she wouldn't just leave us here to rot. It's more than just me. There are others. The Zealots have been using them to force me to continue my research here. They think I have all the answers since the original experiment was a catastrophic failure.
Are... Are you saying my theory is correct? I knew it. I told them their algorithms and insufficient testing were only giving the illusion of stability. But no, no one wants to listen to me. Not the girl who put people twice my age to shame when it came to assessments. Of course, this is what it would take for Razma to send someone after me. Negotiations? Oh, right. I'd almost forgotten. I overheard the Zealots mention negotiating with House Kadik, so the motivations are clear. Not only does the High Council deem me important, but Razma needs to remove me from the equation. I get it. But at least now everyone knows I was right. Yes, step one is freeing the others. The Zealots aren't aware of how I've been delving into their systems here. I told them I needed full access if they expect me to replicate the Nasco's experiment, and I didn't even bother with risk assessment. They think I'm applying my theories to their poor excuse for technology down here. Granted, I could probably make it work if I had to. Well, yes and no. The other hostages are being kept just beyond this room. I can disengage the locks to their cell and grant you access to an elevator in the room beyond that will take them to safety. You just have to clear out that area first, and the zealots down there are... different. All right, let's go. Oh, I'm not going anywhere yet. While you get the rescue underway, I'm going to set up certain guarantees here. I'll meet you and the others outside. Well, you have to. I just need enough time to set up a remote device so I can launch a virus that will render this place useless. Think of it as a failsafe to guarantee our safety. The Zealots would never risk this base or their ships. All right. Good. I'll see you outside. Anything that's gonna weigh me down. Where did he go? Take all the credits I can get.
Legends be merciful. Has help finally arrived? Who are you? Dita Rosmus. You aren't a zealot. Who are you? I'm your savior. Well, let's get out of here. The Great Serpent is merciful. And Sahima? Did you find her yet? I wish it were that easy. The Zealot separated us. Our brethren are still out there. Please, I can ready my people here, but you'll have to deal with the Zealots and rescue the others so we may all escape safely. We'll be ready. Alright, let's go. shot I gotta get at least one of these guys down that man come on up here got something for you damn this dude is taking shots Finally. Where did he die at?
you our lives. Should be it. missing serpent bless you for saving us There's nothing here. This is the way I came in. Ah. Great servant, protect me. Servant, save me. The great serpent has heard me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I had two hostages I had to find. All right, cool. I'm glad that didn't take me too long to figure out. That's everyone accounted for. You did it! It's true what they say. The air really does smell fresher. Serpent, bless you. We owe you our lives. Thank you. Now, it's time for you to head back. I'm going to stay back a moment and make sure everyone here is okay to make it back safely. I'll catch up with you shortly. Just let me know where the negotiations are taking place. Don't worry. Razma came through for me. It's only fair I return the favor. 
I'll be there when it counts. Now go. All right. Badlands Power Station. Is there a fast way for me to get over there? Reasonable the whole time? I thought this was a negotiation. We're having a friendly chat, aren't we? It's not my fault you don't find my offers acceptable. Nah, just the person I wanted to see. Please tell me you bring good news. Hmm, exactly what I wanted to hear. Razma, who is this? You allow any commoner to just waltz in on official business. I'd expect better security from House Kadik. <laughs> this is hardly official business. Yes. And now these so-called negotiations are over. Over? You would risk everything after the whispers of a stranger. I demand to know who this is. You're no one. Only a complete fool would expect me to believe this. It's true, Mihail. And if you don't leave now, peacefully, I'll make sure your ships and Shadow Station Epsilon are made dust. You... How did you... You're bluffing. Test me. You think a genius mind like mine wouldn't find a way to hack into every system in your base? This remote device will launch a virus that will detonate systems within Epsilon, and reach your ships as well. You realize how this may affect future partnerships, Razma? You'd jeopardize our connections. It jeopardizes nothing. It merely restores the natural order. The natural order? I could take you all out here and now. You know every one of us is prepared to answer the Serpent's call. You're so willing to sacrifice your allies at Shadow Station Epsilon? You don't think they're as prepared as we are? We all answer the call, and if that day is today, so be it. No, but it's the death they know is possible. Besides, you think I'd turn my back on the insults thrown here today? You mean, do we think you'd throw away your life and the lives of everyone at Shadow Station Epsilon over your pride, Mihail? No, I for one don't think you will. And you can't deny our partnerships have been beneficial for us both. We'll see about that. Uh, you may be prepared to die, but what if the others remain in Shadow Epsilon? Your death and loss of Shadow Station Epsilon only benefits the heretics. I just took out your whole base. Perhaps you should reconsider. Enough people have died today. Hmm. Yes, their lives are better spent in active service. Sacrifice your life for the Serpent's work, not over some failed negotiations. By dying here today, you'd be abandoning the Great Serpent's work. I just took your whole base out, perhaps you could reconsider. There you go. The Serpent would lose a very efficient disciple. Hmm. Perhaps you speak true after all. All right. I won't deny my brethren the death they deserve. But I won't forget this either. 
Don't think this won't change anything, Razma. Things have already changed, Mihail. From the moment you kidnapped House members. These negotiations are over. Now leave us. I can't believe the Zealots listened to you. Hell yeah. House Kadik is in your debt. As am I. I owe you my life. Sahima, you are a part of this house. I... I know. I just wanted to say thank you. Personally. And here, it's the research and algorithm the High Council wants. I'm sure they'll appreciate it more coming from you. I'm going back to check on the others, but maybe come find me when you're done. Great. You can find me at the Great House whenever you get the chance. Okay, We're so that means she gets a Sahima. she has a side quest for us. As I was saying, Hal's Kadik is in your debt. You've helped me maintain a very precarious balance. And one day it will. But until then, they're a necessary evil. One that we'll be keeping a much closer eye on. I'd appreciate it if you kept this a secret. Ah, uh, let me get some money. A fair price to pay for silence. The others involved know better than to speak of this. As much as it disappoints me, I can't say I'm surprised. Jamal's never cared for our view with the Zealots. And she has no love for those taken. But this is what makes her an excellent mediator. I know so. And wouldn't expect an outsider, promised or not, to understand. All right, now, cool beans. I have much to do, and so do you. Ekris and the High Council will be expecting you. You've served House Kadik well today. Let's see if we can just fast travel on over there. charge up you do not understand I saw a Nasco took measure of his burdens ah were you able to find Sahima yeah dude perfect I have no doubt Sahima's work is the key to stabilizing the morning device. If only the others had listened to her, we may not have lost so much of our great city. This leaves houses Dulkef and Vathol. Politics can wait. Every moment we delay, Anasco descends further into the void. For the last time, faith will not remove the barrier. Science will. It is the hubris of science that failed you in this moment. We reached out to the Great Serpent. This is his reply. You claim he has forsaken us? I do no such thing. The Great Serpent's reply is not an answer, but a question. Are we worthy of his grace? Until that is proven, your works will not succeed. Ah, 
It sounds like you agree with me. And yet, only one is the foundation for the other. But the proof is not in our words. It is in the vision. Anasco's presence still persists in this world. And he seeks our aid. Eh, fine. I feel like I've lived this argument a thousand times, and the only way to move past it is to concede to its nonsense. Armager, speak to my sister. Agree to her fool's errand, so that we may continue the work of saving this city. Mm. The Great Serpent sends you to me once again. Okay, well we will get into that mission. Uh, in the next video, we've done a lot here. We've accomplished a few. We got one of the houses on our side. We have two more houses to get. And also we have to talk to his sister in order for us to get things fixed. But if you guys are enjoying so far, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.